Hey everybody, my name is Will, welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be making a heavy artillery tractor. So this thing is going to have a huge gun, and specifically the gun that we used on the Age of Sail tank a couple days ago. Um, however, we're going to be putting it onto a slightly more reasonable chassis. And when I say slightly more reasonably sh reasonable chassis, you'll see what I mean. Um, but also, there is some quite big news in the uh, Sprocket world at the moment, which is the announcement and explanation thereof of, of geometric internals and how they're going to replace the system that we currently have, which is volumetric internals, in future updates. So at the moment, what you do is you, you essentially drag out or uh, rudimentary 3D model your tank uh, into whatever design you like, and then the internal space is calculated as a volume, a, a 3D volume, and that is what you get at this bar at the top. So you can see that at the moment everything fits in, it doesn't in the end, but um, essentially this system works kind of kind of well, um, and and there's nothing hugely wrong with it, but it does have a couple of serious limitations, such as this vehicle here. So th in this vehicle, nobody would be inside this tank. This would be an externally operated. So the, the driver would sit on a chair somewhere on the vehicle and, and, and operate it from outside the tank. And because that is not technically the internal volume of this tank, you can't accurately get an idea of, like, how this vehicle's space would work, if if that makes any sense at all. Uh, in, in future updates, this is going to be replaced with, instead of your crew members essentially being a liquid that you pour into your tank, and it takes up a certain amount of that volume, it's going to be a, an actual person. So like a little 3D model of a person you place on the tank, and then depending on how far away they are from things and stuff, I assume they'll be able to operate different systems, etc. Uh, and this is the same for the engine, this is the same for the transmission, this is the same for uh, suspension. It's going to actually physically take up place in your tank so this is the, this essentially the same way that the ammo works at the moment is how it's going to work for the engine with transmission the crew the entire lot um now this has caused quite caused quite a stir um within the community because a lot of people are upset that their tanks uh, are not going to be able to be functional anymore basically so the way that freeform at the moment works is, is going to be replaced with this new system of volumetric internals which is going to change how you build your tanks it's going to become like you place plates and then you adjust those plates and you like snap them together like bits of lego i guess uh, it's not like hugely detailed as to how it is uh so within the sprocket discord uh the developer hamish has tried to go into a little bit more depth with it uh, and i personally don't fully understand what's going on but i'm absolutely willing to give it a shot so i yeah, i'm very excited uh for for what's coming up ahead obviously a little bit nervous of change as i think most people are but i i do think that ultimately we've got to have faith and we've got to trust the uh the direction of the game because so far it's not led us wrong so y you know i'm excited uh let me know are you interested in 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 this upcoming update uh you can see it in the steam news if you want to read more about it i can probably also share a link in the description but uh yeah anyway i've been building an artillery tractor in the background i've not mentioned it at all um so i mean hopefully it's fairly self-explanatory it probably won't be um but but i'm all out of time so i guess to the gameplay it is just a small editor's note post recording it does seem that the game audio levels are a little bit too high for my voice today um apologies for that uh hopefully it's not too bad but uh, i hope you can enjoy the video nonetheless sorry okay so here we have our uh, artillery tractor and uh, this is essentially using the same old same old as uh, if i can find it uh here so it's essentially the same cannon as what's on this here mark 17 uh now it says 250 but i'm pretty sure it was a 457 yeah um so obviously this tank had a few problems <laughs> one of which being when you fire uh, gravity just shut down Quite a problem, I'm going to go as far as to say. Here, 
we don't have such concerns. So, uh, we do have the concern of this huge trail at the back, and the idea of this is that it's some kind of thing that actually would dig into the ground when you stop, and then when you fire, it rocks back onto that, so it, it can kind of dig in and it doesn't roll horrifically backwards and hit the truck that's meant to be driving it away or whatever. Um, but we can now actually see where our shell goes. Um, as you can see, I'm a fantastic shot, uh, <laughs> and that has uh, killed that char, even though we didn't really penetrate. Um, just the sheer force of it bouncing up and down has killed it uh, from G-forces. <laughs> so we have quite the cannon here, and we can move somewhat reasonably. Uh, so we're going to see if this is worse or better than strapping it onto a uh, Vickers six-ton hull. I feel like it's becoming a bit of a trend in these videos to see if we can take on a King Tiger. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, this normally happens. Uh, maybe getting the first shot would be a good idea. Hang on, he's missed. Can we... Oh, just short. We don't get long to aim is the problem. He's missed again. Aim a bit longer. Oh, just long! We just need that first shot. Okay, uh, are we okay? We're still able to fire. Yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> it didn't penetrate! Okay, pretty much the longest shell we can fit within the mission now. Um, oh, it's better velocity, but still not that good. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, I believe. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That proves who has the better tank. Um, is it A, a Tiger II, or B, this? And the answer is clearly this. Um, we are going to struggle to do any more of the campaign missions. However, there's a couple of tanks that we might want to put this thing against in uh, custom battles. Okay, out there somewhere, there are... <laughs> Five of those huge artillery pieces. That is five shots that could, at any moment, delete me from existence with simply a thought. Um, I don't know where exactly they are, and I don't know even if the AI is going to be able to fire them. But we're in a little medium tank thing. Uh, like a very light medium tank. And I'm a little bit scared... <laughs> But also very excited to see, because if they do shoot, I so want to be at the receiving end of one of those artillery rounds. The the Mark 17, it was never shot by the AI. It just doesn't work. Um, the SAR tank, it didn't spawn with its wheels. Can we have a functional vehicle that the AI can use? Come on, friend. Do it. Oh, I did it! <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so terrifying. If fills your screen. <laughs> oh, I need to do that again. I really want. So what I want to do is I want to get it aiming at me. Oh, I, he, mi he missed. I didn't press the button in time. I want to press the, the pause, the, the photo mode button just as it fires. And get a size of the shell. I mean, <laughs> that is... One hell of a screenshot right there. You can have that one for the history books. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I'm taking that. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, they have missed. <laughs> it doesn't look quite as impressive when you don't use the perspective to make it look like it's about to hit, but... Wow. I mean, that is huge. That single shell alone is longer than the turret of my tank. I think it's almost as long as the hull. Which is <laughs> just, just unbelievable. Okay, but for real. I, oh! oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So if the AI can use this tank, surely... That means I can go into photo mode, and then something you can actually do is you can increase the time scale by pressing up on your D uh, arrow keys, sorry. And uh, look, my tank is now controlled by an AI. 
Uh, now, I'm not sure how well they're going to handle driving this tank. I mean, for instance, this one's decided to turn around. But uh, we might be able to get a little cheeky battle with uh, 5v5 artillery pieces here. Uh, if you don't just stay looking backwards. Uh, man, I need my camera to be a bit faster for this. Okay, there we go. We, we got a little bit more speed on us now. Uh, I can I can actually use the cameras a bit better. If we just hide our UI here... <laughs> our marvellous warriors of artillery pieces charging towards the enemy. They know what's coming. <laughs> and they know what waits on the other side of this hill. But it does not phase them. Oh, look at it. From a distance, if you look at it from this far away, it actually looks quite good. <laughs> oh, I think he might be dead. I think he might have just been killed, you know. Uh, that was very sudden. You really don't see it coming. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you get hit with the world's biggest shell. Um, now, can this guy do anything? Oh, just missed from the left there. And another one's missed. Are you going to aim? <laughs> Is he going to stop and fire at any point in time? <gasps> Did that bounce? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even think that would be possible. I, I think that might be all of the shells, you know. I think that might be every single one of the enemies has fired their shot. So, I mean, is this just going to go and cross the border? I think he will. He's just going to win the game for my team. <laughs> He, he, he's not going to change his uh, his direction that he's driving, I don't think, too much. Nearly. Maybe. Come on. Give us some fun. I'll give us some fun if you won't. Uh, where are you? Here's one. Here we go. Hello. Uh, can I hit him like that? Oh! <laughs> where did the turret go? I want more. I crave more than that. That was that, <laughs> that was good. I want it again. Come on. We gotta rotate here. You you are just begging for it. It bounced! <laughs> it bounced! Oh what a, what an awful shot I just fired. <laughs> that was just terrible. Why do they keep turning around? Is something I do want to know. Uh, it is a little unique. Uh, can I? Do I still have a shot? Oh, I do. It's gone through and it's not killed him. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, and on that bombshell, uh, I think that's all of the fun we're going to have with this thing for now. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Leave suggestions in the comments below with what you'd like to see me build in the future. Or alternatively, you can join my Discord, which is linked in the description. Uh, and you can leave your suggestions in the suggestions channel within there. Um, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the future. Uh, goodbye. And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons, Badger, Zero Shine, Mildly Invested, Ryan Brody, The Kinesian Emperor, Cody N, Nicholas K, Just Casualty 62M1, Gunmaster 99, Zite Wolverine, Tree Loving Mango, Cam Jam 135, Sad Cat, DJ Pete, Yoki 003, Caligo Drake, and Rule Stars Thank you so much for your support.